Let me bring in. We have a whole team standing by. Ari Melber, I'm going to start with you. So as Pete has laid out there, this is not a case, right? This is not a decision necessarily on the merits. Put that into plain English and help people understand the implications of this. Uh, Obamacare wins again. Uh, as Pete was just explaining, this is procedurally has to do with how they didn't even want to get into the merits of the case. Uh, so rejecting it on standing is just a full rejection of these conservative attorneys general, these conservative states that had looked for one more way to chip at or attack Obamacare. So the headline, uh, if, you, if you're not a lawyer and you're just saying, what does this mean? It means Obamacare right. wins, Obamacare is law of the land, uh, but it also gives us a clue into how this court wants to come together because you have a wide coalition, uh, you have most of the justices coming together uh, and the language, again, I've just been reading it as well. I haven't finished the whole case because it just came down, but right. some of the language I'm seeing it there and perusing it uh, is, the, is the court saying the fact that it, that a particular state doesn't like a federal law or doesn't like Obamacare, that's not enough to get them into the, into court. Uh, the bar that the court is setting here in this ruling, defending Obamacare, upholding it is to say, you have to have a real injury as a state. You can't just say as a state like Texas, hey, I don't like it, let us in, let's relitigate the so, whole thing. So Ari, um, help me understand this as a non-lawyer and our viewers who are non-lawyers as well. There were basically, th for the way I understand it, three pieces to this case. There was the standing question, whether Texas uh, was able to you know, sh show injury here as you're talking about, right? There was the, the question of the individual mandate itself and the constitutionality, and then the question of severability. Um, so, so what it sounds like you were saying is it's the standing issue that has hung up um, uh, this particular case. Yeah, you have to get through that door number one before you even right. get to the other two right. things you just mentioned. And so in most cases, I, I guess let's take a step back because it's, it's a big deal. It's really interesting. In most cases that the Supreme Court gets this far on, they don't usually then back down on standing. Uh, they usually have already decided, well, we're taking this case this high up. We're going to deal with the merits. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit unusual to then go back, that as you were mentioning, yeah. to door number one.